I've only known about this SCP for about 5 minutes, and not to be dramatic or anything, but I would absolutely take a bullet for it. Hello everybody, I'm Lavis, and the SCP I'm gonna tell you about today is SCP-1991, Cybernetically Enhanced Mammalian. Let's begin. Item Number SCP-1991 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-1991 is to be stored in a 5 by 5 by 5 meter containment chamber within Site-19's biological specimens wing. Due to the specimen's behavior, a locked door is considered to be all that is required to prevent escape. SCP-1991 is to be fed 3 kilograms of cooked and pulped beef daily. Water is to be provided via a trough which is to be kept refilled constantly. Containment cell is to be cleaned weekly by Class D personnel. As I get into the description, let's see if you can make any guesses about what this SCP does in the comments, based on the containment procedures and name, and see how close you were to being right by the end of the video. Description SCP-1991 is a 2 meter long quadruped mammalian creature of unknown species, enhanced by the implantation of cybernetic compounds. Both implanted compounds and creature show signs of damage consistent with extreme age, poorly healed puncture wounds, bullets of assorted calibers embedded underneath the skin, burns comparable to those produced by industrial cutting lasers, and starvation. SCP-1991 appears to have suffered psychological damage as a result of physical abuse or trauma, displaying extreme fear of loud noises, rapid movements, and aggression or seeming aggression by personnel. SCP-1991's body core is roughly humanoid, with elongated limbs of equal length. All limbs end in hands similar to those of a large primate, apart from the presence of elongated claws. The head resembles a mummified canine skull with elongated incisor teeth. Skin resembles decayed leather with matted fur growing from it, primarily around the ankles and back of the neck. SCP-1991 lacks a tail. When recovered, SCP-1991 displayed traits of starvation, including enlarged gut and emaciated limbs. Proper feeding while in containment has been shown to cure said traits. Cybernetics consists of a mechanical collar, implantation of unidentified structure into right forelimb, sharpened steel blades replacing teeth and claws of forelimbs as well as data expunged, system alterations of unknown usage. The collar consists of a metal disc embedded in the front of the neck, possessing a small speaker array, non-functional due to bullet damage, six video cameras, two of which have broken lenses, and a complex network of data expunged fibers, apparently serving as a linkage or control to its central nervous system, but is non-functional due to damage. Due to the non-functional nature of linkage between its nervous system and the camera network on the shield, SCP-1991 appears to be blind. The right forelimb structure consists of a pair of miniature mechanical clamps and an extending rotary metal rod, similar to the triggering equipment of remotely operated firearms. It is assumed that the clamps were intended to serve as a mounting system for such a weapon. SCP-1991 Test Logs Behavioral Test Log 1991-1 Tests of SCP-1991 behavior in regards to positive stimuli. Supervisor, Dr. B <coughs> Stimulus. Doctor says hello in a normal and calm voice. Effect upon subject. SCP-1991, having huddled in the furthest corner of the containment chamber upon the doctor's entry, emerged and hesitantly licked the doctor's outstretched hand. Stimulus. SCP-1991 petted on the top of the head by the doctor. Effect on Subject SCP-1991 emitted gurgling noise assumed to be a sign of pleasure. Stimulus SCP-1991 given common canine chew toy shaped like a teddy bear. Effect on Subject SCP-1991 prodded toy with forepaw, causing it to squeak. SCP-1991 proceeded to emit whimpering noises and huddled against the furthest wall of the containment chamber until chew toy was removed. Behavioral Test Log 1991-2 Tests of SCP-1991 Behavior in Regards to Negative Stimuli Supervisor, Agent <coughs> Stimulus Agent saying hello in a raised and aggressive voice Effect upon Subject 
SCP-1991 proceeded to rapidly move to the furthest edge of the chamber from the agent and attempted to curl into a ball. Stimulus? Agent clapping hands in front of SCP-1991. Effect upon subject. SCP-1991 whimpered and attempted to cover head with forepaws. Stimulus? Gunshot from starter pistol into the air outside containment chamber. Effect upon subject. SCP-1991 urinated on floor of containment chamber and huddled twitching on the opposite side of the chamber from the door until ending of the test. End log. History. SCP-1991 was recovered by Foundation agents and- Following reports of a monster scavenging from dumpsters and data expunged, a small town and cover story regarding vagrants planted. Thank you very much for listening. If you like what you heard and want to hear more, you could click over here for another video I made, or you could click over here to subscribe. And if you have any other SCP ideas that you want to hear me read, please leave them in the comments below. Have a nice day.